Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial for Moon Invoice application. Today we'll see how to manage stocks for created products. So let's begin. Moon Invoice allows you to keep track of your stocks and that can be done through the product under the products. So here you can see the stocks availability under each and every product. So let's take example of this product. I'm going to update this product. Just you need to fill the details like the product name, the SKU number, unit type. You can change it to milliliter, grams, depending on the product. I'm keeping it in kilograms, currency, buy price and sell price, the default quantity which you want in the invoice, the category and the most important thing that it is very necessary to check this inventory box and then only there will be the option under this product to update the stock. If you don't check this inventory type, so it won't give you the option to update this stock over here. So make it clear that you check this inventory and that's it. Now we'll update the stock. Just click on the uh, this option, update stock. Write the vendor name, quantity, I'm keeping it to 500, no, let's, Take it 300 the buy price which is I'm keeping 10 US dollar click on plus icon and that's it the stock is being updated so as you can see there was the stock in negative now it is positive and out of 300 100 got deducted and this way you can update manually these stocks similarly with when purchase order is being placed so the stock get up updated automatically let's take example i have made this draft i'm adding this product over here adding the a grade leather quantity i'm keeping it to uh take example 200 quantity and puppies the weight is in kilograms rate that is default that's it when i save it so still it is in draft let's change it to approved that's it let's check what change occurs in the product so as we have updated the purchase order with 200 now total stock available is 400 similarly when an invoice is generated with the same product the stock get automatically deducted let's take example i'm adding this invoice with this product that is a grade leather i'm keeping quantity as 300 that we have kept in our product the rate that is sale rate that's it when i save it 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 is marked as paid so let's check what change occurs in the product in the stock that it get automatically deducted 200 so this way stock get updated automatically when an invoice is generated and also you can track your stock report under the report section here is the stock report you can track your stock report over here that is the buy price sell price stocks and stock value this is a short video regarding these talks and if you have any question you can just ask in comment box. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Have a great day.